<clears throat> Cheers. To the weekend. You said it. <sighs> I needed this. Thanks. Rough week, huh? I mean, not, not really. No, you said you needed it. Do you need it or not? Well, I mean, it's, it's just one of those things, you know, like you, you say, like, you, you know, oh, that hit the spot, you know? <laughs> what, what spot? There's no spot, just more an expression, really, than anything. I got it. Wow, that is some telescope you got there, huh? I mean, this is a beauty. You just, they don't make them like this anymore, right? I mean, you don't, you don't see these anymore. No, no they don't. Can you see Uranus with us? Uranus is about two billion miles from the Earth. Oh, so, so no. Yes, you can, with the naked human eye. Just look up. Oh. Well this is, I mean, well this, this is pointed right at my house. Like, right at my living room window. Don't get too excited. Rearranged some furniture this morning so the wife could vacuum. So, Jack, how's work going? Hope you weren't too late the other day. Thanks for the beer. Gotta go. Oh, work? Yeah, I mean, meh. It's a living. How's yours? Actually, to tell you the truth, I don't even think I know what you do. Well, Jack, you could say I'm somewhat of a small business owner. Have a seat. You see, I didn't even know that. What kind of business? Imports. Ah, like uh, Pier 1. Not quite. But like uh, uh, rugs and furniture and uh, no, dinettes? Not exactly. Not so much the retail end of it. I put people in touch with people. Oh, so like a, like a job placement agency, like a temp work or something? It can be. Right now I'm actually looking for a full-time candidate. Someone who could really appreciate the work. Uh, what, what, what kind? Field work of sorts. Great pay, especially considering the cost of living out here. Sure isn't getting any cheaper. And I just read this morning that Toyota in North America is moving their operations out of California because the taxes are so damn high. Toyota. Seems like everybody's trying to save a buck. At housing, schools, highest gas prices in the country. I can't imagine what it must be like to be a working man and raise a family out here. Yeah, I, I, you, I mean, uh, when, you, when you say like great pay, you mean like, like good salary, and, uh, health, health plan, like 401k benefits? Don't want to bore you with the details, Jack. It's probably not as interesting as your job. Well, I mean, for, <laughs> the sake of conversation, like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm curious, like, uh, maybe I know a guy. <laughs> I'm not, like, not off the top of my head or anything, but... Jack, can I trust you? Sure, Dave, yeah, why not? I don't mean can I trust you to, like, not tell Kate my wife's tits are fake, I mean can I trust you? Your, your wife's... Yeah, 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 you can trust me. I want to think that I could. You can. You can. My business is shady as f I do illegal things. Some people with no imagination would call me a criminal, but in reality I'm nothing more than a card-carrying capitalist. I make a shit ton of money, I make other people a shit ton of money, and I happen to know that you need a shit ton of money. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I, 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 I have... I have some money. Oh yeah? Where's your next paycheck coming from, Jack? Uh, the, the mailman? Yeah, I get I get paid bi-weekly, so I th actually Friday, I think, as long as Friday, it's not a national holiday, maybe it's a Monday, but like I, I never fill out those damn direct deposit forms, so well, I... For all those hours you didn't work, you mean? And the $700 you have for Sandy Koufax and all his friends, how long do you think you can stretch that? Okay, how the f do you know that? What, are you spying on me? Yeah, I am. Actually, what you call spying, I call following up on a hunch. And now I know a little bit about you, and you know a little bit about me. 
Okay, this is this is way past uncomfortable. I gotta go. Jack, listen. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Calm down. You want another beer? Yeah, I do. But I will take it to go. Take the whole case, my gift to you. Just hear me out before you leave. Just help me out for one week. See if you like it. I'll even front you some cash if you want. All you have to do is drive a car. It's what, your chauffeur? No. I'm driving imported goods, but for promotional use only. That's it. Oh yeah, sure. Like Rolexes and mink coats, I suppose. Luxury items. Guns? Sporting goods. Drugs? Party supplies. Not doing it. If the money's so good, why don't you do it yourself? I'm running a business. I can't be in two places at once. Neither can I. I can't be in the comfort of my own home and in prison at the same time. You could take it or leave it, but remember, I'm trusting you with this information. I just wanted to offer because I know you needed the cash. But Jack, this is real money. No taxes. You can buy yourself the Lamborghini of healthcare plans if you want. Kate won't ever have to know. You can operate during normal business hours and you'll have to take the occasional business trip. That's it. Get a nicer car, move to a nicer neighborhood, and maybe, most importantly to you, never ever have to worry about the cost of diapers. Don't forget the beer. Drink all of it. To the town of our free road, a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. The stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town.